Hey fellow traders, welcome back to another Market Outlook video. Okay, so for this week, uh, as always, we're going to analyze the Forex market. Okay, I'm going to give you the key levels that you want to be paying attention to, as well as the bias for the week. Okay, but in today's video, I want to make it a bit different. Okay, I want to start off by uh, revealing what happened last week. Okay, because uh, last week was a very difficult week to trade. And I think that there are tons of lessons for us uh, to learn from. And it is, I thought it just would be good if uh, I talk a, a little about um, what happened last week. And then I'll move on to uh, what we can expect uh, for the market this week using the calendar before going on to the Forex charts. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is the calendar for last week. Okay, last week was a very uh, news heavy week. You have, uh, you know, all this uh, policy statement, you have the unemployment rate, you have the ECB. Okay, so our expectation was that after ECB price uh, would go back to normal. Okay, meaning that uh, price would start to trend, but uh, that didn't happen. Okay, and uh, that was also the reason why we got out of our trades, uh, most of our trades at a uh, break even, because uh, we, we thought that the market would take off after uh, ECB, but uh, you know, it just moved a little and it came back. Okay, so that was very difficult for us. And uh, in fact, on Friday, we almost uh, didn't send any trades out, right? Even though we expected the market to move, we didn't send. So I think uh, the lesson right here is that um, it, you, you do have to always be uh, fluid, right? You have to be flexible when you're trading, right? Uh, you can have an expectation about how the market will move, um, but if the market doesn't move in the way, um, you know, like this, after this event, it doesn't move the way you expect it to move, then uh, you need to be flexible, okay? Never argue with the market. The market is always right, and uh, if you argue with the market, you're going to lose money, okay? So that's why uh, we, we stayed out uh, for most of the... Uh, trades for Thursday as well as Friday, okay? So same thing for this week, okay? Uh, I'm going to give you the expectation for this week of uh, what we're going to expect. But at the same time, please understand that um, it's, it's just like last week. You want to be uh, flexible, okay? This is just a prediction, okay? Prediction is open to, you know, very like changes. Things may change, you know, um, important news, world events might happen and then the market start moving or, you know, something else happens and then the market doesn't move. Okay, all these are not within our control, but uh, it's still good if you know you can start the week, kind of expecting what kind of uh, you know week it's going to be, what kind of uh, market outlook you have, and then uh, adapting accordingly. Okay, so this part of the analysis, uh, take it with a pinch of salt. Okay, but uh, when it comes to the levels, the levels are kind of more fixed, right? You just want to watch that levels. Okay, so for this week, uh, we are on the nineteenth of July, as you can see over here. So um. Uh, today it's a uh, Sunday. Okay, I'm recording this on Sunday. Okay, it's 12 18 p.m. at uh, my place. Um, but we're going to analyze for the week of uh, 20th July. Okay, this is the second last week towards the end of the month. So let's try to end the month, uh, you know, well. Okay, so you can see over here that uh, there is not much news. Okay, you only have this uh, Aussie, and uh, this Aussie, um, this news is not too, too important. Okay, this core retail sales is also not too important. It's not it doesn't really, really move the market. Okay, and then you have a series of uh, PMIs over here on Friday. Okay, so for this kind of weeks, I think that uh, it's going to be a week that uh, it's more, it's easier to trade. Okay, the market's going to be more, um, you know, uh, more friendly. So uh, definitely be more aggressive if you're looking for trades. Okay, in fact, for the last like three, you know, three, four weeks, the market has been really, really tough to trade. So uh, I think it's about time that uh, the market becomes easy to trade. So hopefully um, this week uh, we make some good pips, okay? But make sure you manage your risk. Okay, so uh, with that being said, okay, let's move on to the charts. Okay, now the first thing that we always do is we always look at the DXY, okay? So over here you can see that uh, we are the DXY, okay? And um, you can see that uh, this was a previous support and our price is currently at the previous support uh, right now, okay? So we are at previous support. So this is pretty straightforward for DXY. Okay, price is at support right now. Okay, so um, anything below it, it's bearish. Anything above, it's still it's still in a bearish trend. But um, you might see a, a decent uh, rebound up. Okay, so you can see. Let me just show it to you. This is the swing low. Okay, I think I did this a lot of times for the past couple of weeks. Okay, but I'll just do it again. 
Okay, you have a high, you have a low, you have a low high, and you have a lower low. So we are in a downtrend. Okay, not, nothing too difficult about that. Okay, but the problem is now uh, we are at a recent low. Okay, if you switch to the line chart, uh, you can see that this is the low point. Let me just get it right. Okay, switch back to the candlestick chart and you can see that uh, price parked nicely at 96.01. Okay, and that's why I say that, uh, you know, last week, we expected price to, you know, make a decisive conclusion of whether uh, this level will be broken. But, uh, you know, after ECB, price still refuses to move. And in fact, on Friday, it closes on the dot as well. So, so it's, it's pretty frustrating. Okay, so it's very frustrating. So uh, for DXY, okay, dollar index, if uh, it breaks, then you'll probably see the recent low being challenged over here. Okay, let me just uh, draw it for you over here. Okay, otherwise, if this is supported, uh, then we we'll probably see uh, the... The, this recent swing high being retested. Okay, so um, if you if you are trading, okay, you probably won't trade directly into DXY, but uh, you, you just need to understand that uh, if this is going to be rebounding, then a dollar is going to strengthen. Then you want to sell pairs like euro dollar, pound dollar, and buy pairs like dollar franc. Okay, that's how you use it. Uh, we never trade directly into DXY, even though you can. Uh, but we just uh, choose not to. Okay, so let's talk about euro dollar. Okay, so euro dollar, uh, it's it's a bit difficult to trade. Okay, uh, previously I recorded this video about a consolidation trading. So, uh, you, if you have not watched that, uh, watch that video after this because uh, in this case, uh, we are in a consolidation, and uh, in that video I say that uh, consolidation is difficult to trade because uh, there are multiple levels. So, if let's say uh you do not consider this zone here, this recent high, let's say that uh you 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 zoom in. And you just look at uh, your charts over here and you just take care of this level and you know you buy the breakout here let's say you enter somewhere up here let me just draw it you enter somewhere here okay just a moment if you enter your trade somewhere here and you do not take into account this trade then uh, this is a ranging trade which uh, will probably frustrate you because uh, you know you buy uh, then it goes up, it's in profit, and then it comes back down, and then your account is in the red again, and then it's in the green again, and it's in the red again. So that's the reason why consolidation is so difficult to trade. Okay, so if you want to trade a euro dollar, and uh, you you need to wait for this level to be broken. Okay, this uh, ideally this recent high as well. Uh, this one over here, this recent high. Let me just um, I write it down. Okay, 1.1453, okay? Ideally, you see a nice close uh, above uh, this entire zone. And uh, of course, uh, we are definitely in the uptrend, okay? Uh, it's very easy to tell that uh, Euro dollars in the uptrend. You have the swing high here, you have the swing low here, and then you have a higher high, okay? So it's very, uh, it's very easy to tell uh, the direction uh, of this. You just want to make sure that uh, you get in at the right price and uh, when the levels are broken or supported, okay? In this case, uh, we are still in a kind of consolidation. Hopefully next week we get a big breakout over here and then uh, we just take the, just write the trend uh, higher, okay? So this is a euro dollar. The bias is uh, bullish, okay? Take down these levels. Remember that watching this video without taking down these levels is not helpful at all, okay? You need to write down these levels so that these levels can help you in your analysis. Okay, pound dollar. Okay, so pound dollar, uh, previously it was, uh, uh, let me just, previously it was doing a correction, something like this, right? You have a bullish move and then you have a retracement down, okay? And the uh, price has broken over, okay? In fact, there's a mini um, inverted head and shoulder over here. If you can cannot see, switch to the line chart. Uh, it's, it's, it's very minor, but nonetheless, it's still uh, there. This is the left shoulder, this is the head, and uh, this is sort of uh, the right shoulder, a very, very minor one, okay? Let me just draw back, uh, delete everything. Okay, so what happens is that uh, we had a uh, demand demand zone over here. This is a demand zone, okay. Again, uh, if you cannot identify this, uh, it's okay because um, this is a bit difficult to identify. And uh, we do have a video about institutional buying and selling. So uh, the next thing you can do after this video is to watch that video on how to identify institutional buying and selling. Okay, that will help you. Okay, basically identify this level. So what happened was a price actually did this. Okay, just tap, tap this level. So it found liquidity here. Okay, so um, right now it's showing multiple uh, you know dojis over here. So uh, the 
bias is definitely bullish okay but the only question is whether a uh, price will actually come back down to this uh, demand zone and uh, penetrate it deeper okay so the key to this uh, pound dollar would be to watch this level over here okay this recent uh, low okay yeah uh, if you cannot find this level you don't know why i'm talking about this level just switch to the line chart and uh, you can see why i'm talking about this level okay so you notice that I use the line chart a lot because the line chart helps you to see levels very clearly. Okay, and in this case, uh, I can actually, my eyes are actually trained to see the levels even without uh, changing the line chart. But because this is a video that I'm recording for you, you know, I, I want to just make sure that uh, you see it. So I change the line chart. Okay. So what happens is uh, this level 1.25517 is a very strong level. Okay, so I think this is what I like to call the make or break level. Okay, meaning that uh, if price uh, holds and then uh, expect it to be bullish. Okay, if price breaks this, uh, expect it to retest uh, this, uh, this demand zone over here. Okay, and then uh, you, you can consider taking a short down to this level. But make sure you lock in your profits fast because uh, as I said, we are still in a, you know, we are in, in an uptrend because uh, you have inverted here and shoulders here. And um, you know it's possible for price to do something like this. Okay, just retrace a bit deeper to wipe out the people who uh, uh, bought here. Okay, because a lot of traders what they did is uh, they buy on this pin bar and they put their stop loss here. So the market knows that, and the market loves to you know stop hunt, do stop hunt, and you know cause a lot of people to lose money. So it is possible that uh, price just comes here. Okay, but uh, then again you, you cannot tell until uh, you see that a uh, one point two five five one seven is broken. Okay, so just uh, watch this level. Okay, if uh, this level holds, uh, price is supported, then of course, uh, you can look at the, this recent high here. Okay, recent high is your take profit as well as uh, this high over here. Okay, so uh, quite a nice move up if uh, this level is supported, considering the fact that uh, you can enter in with a very small stop loss and uh, you know get a very nice right up to this level and this level. Okay, so that's a uh, pound dollar. So let's talk about dollar franc. Okay, dollar franc, uh, it's pretty interesting. Okay, because uh, it's sim similar to DXY, it's parked at the recent low. Okay, this is the recent low. Uh, it's very obvious that this is the recent low because this is a swing low, right? But um, dollar franc, same thing, right? It's, it's actually the same, almost the same exact as a DXY, right? You're in a downtrend. Uh, you have a swing low, swing high, lower low, lower high. Okay, so um, bias is bearish, but the problem is uh, you are hitting into support right now okay so uh the play for this would be uh if i see that uh this level is broken then uh, i will either trade the breakout or i trade the retest up okay i would not short uh right now because uh, it's not wise to short in the support okay i'll just wait for it to be broken retest then i'll take the trade down okay uh you also notice that there is kind of like this uh you know trend line that uh you can draw okay so maybe you can see something like this okay and uh, ideally you know you retest us this zone together with the trend line then uh, you know uh, with a fibonacci as well okay uh, i do talk about this trading strategy in some of my other videos okay how do you swing trade this is a swing trading strategy uh the step-by-step -step process has been outlined in uh, that video so check that out uh, if you have not watched it because this is a very effective way to trade uh, to swing trade okay this is a strategy which i paid uh, i think about two thousand dollars to learn from someone okay i know it works uh, but it doesn't suit me okay it doesn't suit my personality but i know it works so uh you can make uh, just check out that video uh, if you are not too sure about what i'm talking about but anyway i mean in short i'm just waiting for this level to be broken and um either take trade the breakout or the retracement uh, back to this level okay okay go go it has been a real pain in the ass like real real pain in the ass okay why because uh it's a very obvious that it's uptrend okay but you have like this uh, candle selling down then this thing whipping people out right you have this very nasty uh whip stop hunt right go up start to sell down again and then you have a black candle and then you have a white candle that totally reverses this okay now the only problem is that uh if you buy now you're buying the resistance okay and uh a just a moment okay you are buying the resistance and uh um i think in the consolidation video right i think i i can't recall if i talk about uh gold but uh gold has multiple uh, resi resistance level so uh you have zones like this 
let me just uh, okay you have this recent low here okay and then you have uh, this zone here as well this recent high here and then you have one more high over here okay so what happens is that uh, if if you even if you short here it is very difficult for you to profit because there is a support here right so in the consolidation video that i recorded for you i say that uh you know whenever there are multiple levels uh, and you want to trade then uh, you must wait for the uh the whole entire level to be broken so if you want to long you must wait for this upper um back, upper resistance to be broken then you buy okay if you want to sell uh, you cannot just sell here because what happens is if you sell here uh, there is support here right remember this is a resistance initially but it turns support so you cannot sell here because if you sell here there's a probability that price does this and then it goes up okay what you want to do is you want to wait for uh, this level to be broken then you sell it down okay uh, but the problem with that is that uh, if you do that then uh, your stop loss and uh, you know take profit doesn't make sense you do something like this um, you get very poor risk to reward you see you get about 1 is to 1.04 it's not a good trade okay so a uh, very tricky scenario but uh, goal is definitely a long right it's, it's definitely a long so just wait for this level to be broken okay if possible just wait for this level to be broken uh, trade the retracement down and uh, you should be fine okay uh, try to avoid trading into the range because uh, ranges are really very difficult to trade and uh, there's really no point in uh, trying to force the market to move in if it just doesn't want to move okay so let's move on to dollar cat okay let me just okay so dollar cat let's uh, start with the, the day chart okay uh, dollar cat also very very difficult to trade okay because uh, you have this uh, let me just show you why I'm looking at this level uh, you have a left shoulder okay and then you have a head and then you have a right shoulder okay so this is the neckline okay so right now the neckline is not broken yet okay so if the neckline is not broken yet uh, you cannot say that it's fully bearish so right now price is kind of like in the middle of nowhere and uh, what's interesting is so you have this uh, let me just draw it you have this uh, descending trend line here okay so you're kind of like the upper end of the range okay and uh, you have this horizontal levels which is this one over here okay so you can see that uh, there is a series of resistance above okay and uh, this level here okay uh, if you cannot see why i drew, drew these levels just change back to the line chart and you can see that uh, uh, why i chose these levels this one will be this uh, high here uh, this high here and uh, this high here okay that's how i get my levels okay so you can see that it's very difficult to trade because even if you buy here there is you know your trend line you have this level you have this level this level uh, if you sell you you have to take profit by here okay so uh ideally i would not recommend you to trade this okay uh if i want to trade this then i will wait for the uh price to break this okay and then uh either trade a breakout or trade the uh, retest okay otherwise i will just wait for price to clear this entire zone okay so very difficult to trade, uh, don't advise you to trade it, but take note of these levels. Okay, let's talk about uh, Kiwi Dollar. Okay, Kiwi Dollar, let me just get you the level. So you have this high over here, okay, and then you have uh, here, somewhere here. Okay, and uh, you have uh, all these clusters over here. Okay, so uh, Kiwi Dollar is, is all over the place, to be honest, because you have this level here. Uh, that on Fridays was resisted, okay, and then you have this uh, recent high over here as well, okay. So uh, price is into a cluster of resistance, okay. Being quite sim similar to a euro dollar, okay, because uh, most of the time Kiwi dollar, euro dollar, Aussie dollar, almost in the same direction, anyways, okay. So uh, the an analysis is kind of like the same, okay. Uh, if you want to trade, wait for the breakout, then you trade the retest, okay. Otherwise, uh expect price to you know retrace back down okay it has uh, this level as well as uh, this uh, level over here okay this level here somewhere around here okay 0 0.6531 okay um this level here you also want to take note this uh, spike low just in case okay just want to be very careful this is a support as well okay so um it's really very difficult to trade don't advise you to trade it wait for the breakout Okay, you can see there are so many levels. If you're not experienced and you do not know how to trade, then uh, it's very difficult for you to profit off this kind of scenarios. Okay, let's go to uh, Aussie. 
Aussie, same thing again. Uh, I won't repeat the analysis. I'll just show you the levels because uh, uh, I think it's the same. Okay, you just want to wait for the breakout. So you have this cluster of support here and you have uh, this resistance over here. Okay, so uh, the good thing about Aussie is that it's closer to the support. So it is possible for uh, you to look for opportunity where you know price make a brief retracement down. Uh, look for a trade and then uh, buy it up towards uh, the round digit uh, 0 0.7020. Okay, this is a round digit 0 0.7000. So that's so far so difficult to break because it's, psych it's a psychological number. Okay, so once this level is broken, then uh, you should see some very nice move up. But if not, uh, just wait for it. Okay, now let's talk about uh, dollar yen and then I'll finish up with euro yen and the uh, Dow Jones. Okay. Um, over here, you have uh, some form of resistance over here, okay, and uh, you have some support over here, okay. Uh, this level over here, uh, 1.0685 is a very, very, very strong level. Okay, I want you to pay attention to this level, okay, because uh, this level has proven to be very strong. You can see that there's one test here and there's multiple tests, okay. How I get this level is I just change the line chart and you can see that uh, this is the level. Okay, so this is a very, very strong level, 106.85. Okay, now the problem is that uh, even if the level is broken, uh, you have a cluster of support coming in. Okay, you can see that uh, there is a trend line. So what happens is that price might uh, break the level, okay, and then, you know, uh, find support at the, uh, the trend line and then go up. Okay, so it's very difficult to trade. Okay, and you also have a cluster of uh, support as here as well, this uh, recent uh, low. Here, okay, as well as this over here. So you can see that uh, there are just a ton of support at the bottom, okay. So ideally, uh, I would prefer to buy, but uh, not until this high is broken. If this high is broken, then I'll look at uh, the, this recent high here, and uh, if this is broken, then I'll look at uh, this recent high over here, okay. So ideally, I prefer to buy because uh, there's just too much support at the bottom, okay. It's very hard to trade. And uh, I don't want to trade stuff like, you know, like this, you know, then, uh, you know, you, you, you trade a retracement up, then, you know, like that. Uh, I do not like this kind. I like the market to trend. So, um, personally, I prefer to buy. Uh, if there's opportunity, I prefer for price to break up and then I have a very nice move all the way up. Okay. So, just be beware of uh, dollar yen because a dollar yen is really very difficult to trade. Okay. Now, euro yen. Okay, Euro Yen, uh, the, on Friday, uh, price was resisted by the 0 0.618 level. Okay, uh, in fact, if you look left, you can see that um, this is actually the level. Okay, uh, this level as well as this level here. Let me just, okay, this level here. Okay, so our price is near a strong uh, resistance together with the Fibonacci level. Okay, so uh, buying here is definitely not advisable. Okay, uh, in fact, I'll be more keen to sell, but uh, you do have to take care of the support uh, if you are going to sell. Okay, let me just uh, clear this up and I'll show you the support. Okay, so obviously support you have uh, this level over here uh, because this was the recent swing high. Okay, so this level must be broken for price to go down. Uh, also take note of other levels such as, you know, this uh, trend line. Okay, so there's a lot of support because you are training counter trend. Uh, but I do think that this is a very strong level. So if uh, I can trade, I will find a good small stop loss within this zone, okay? And I'll short it down, okay? Uh, just playing off uh, this strong level and uh, just to take some account, short counter trend trades uh, to, to discount levels. And if this kind of level break, then uh, we might see a bigger movement uh, down, okay? Especially if uh, the trend line breaks, okay? Okay, now Dow Jones, uh, the last, trade uh, last pair that we'll analyze today, okay? So Dow Jones uh, looks very similar to Euro Yen. Uh, if you draw the Fibonacci down, okay, uh, it's resisted by this uh, 0 0.786 level, okay? So this level is definitely key, okay? But uh, you have a lot of uh, support, okay? Same thing as uh, the Yen pairs, okay? Same problem, you have a lot of support. You have this uh, trend line that was uh, broken, okay? Uh, you have this, uh, if you look carefully, you have this uh, spike high here, this candle here. So the spike high of this candle is actually here, okay? And uh, on Friday, price is sitting nicely on it. It's not giving you any sign of whether it's bullish or bearish, okay? So you have this level as 
resistance and you have this level as support and you have a cluster of a support at the bottom you have this level over here okay and uh, you also have this level here let me just draw it so it's very difficult to trade because the levels are very close and uh, right now you are sitting somewhere here without any decision okay uh, my preference would be uh, for price to break out of this zone over here this box area consolidation and i'll buy it okay i, I don't want to sell because uh, this is uh, the uptrend and uh, if you were to sell it uh, you have to be very cautious about your take profit levels because there's just a ton of support here which i don't like okay i prefer to buy up and uh, it's clearer okay if let's say this 27005 level is broken then i can get a nice right to 27535 okay it's clearer and uh, if that is broken then uh, you can see that uh, price has a lot of room to go to somewhere around here right let's say if you use a fibonacci extension to 1.272 level uh, extension will be uh, 28517 so it's a very nice move up uh, if you can break uh, this 26995 okay, if this is broken then you'll see some nice up move okay uh, if you sell uh, it's counter trend and uh, there are a lot of uh, support um, to be broken at the bottom okay so you just want to be careful of that okay so that's it for this video if you have any questions or any other currency pairs that you want to you, you want us to analyze just uh, leave a comment down below uh, I'll, I'll try to send it in your telegram channel or something okay uh, if you have not downloaded our day trading guide make sure you do that as well okay um it's free it will teach you how uh, to trade using the day chart which is a very powerful uh, strategy as well okay it's very friendly for beginners if you are struggling definitely try that strategy out okay so uh, if not thanks for watching just uh, leave a comment now if you have any questions and i'll, I'll see you to it okay so thanks for your time i'll see you in the telegram channel uh, and let's trade the week well and manage our risk well <music>